uh, introduction to each section. Inshallah, if there are any questions, if you would like to take pictures, uh, you're more than welcome, inshallah. This is the first section. What is the meaning of a Sahaba? So what is the definition of a Sahabi? So the definition is مَنْ لَقِيَ نَبِيَ سَسَلَّمُ مِنَ بِهِ وَمَا تَعْلِ الْإِسْلَامِ So there are three conditions to make a person a Sahaba, okay? The first one is that they have to meet the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second condition is that they have to follow or believe uh, in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the third condition is that they have to die as a Muslim upon Islam. So these are the three conditions that makes a person a Sahaba, okay? Allah Azza wa Jalla states in the Quran, "والسابقون الأولون من المهاجرين والأنصار والذين تبعوهم إحسان رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه". The Muhajirun and the Ansar, and those who follow them in way of righteousness, Allah is pleased with them. They are pleased with Him, and He has prepared for them Jannah. Okay. Likewise, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "He said, 'لا تصب أصحابي.'" He said, "Do not insult my companions." So again, this shows you the great status and the great virtue of the Sahaba of the Allah and the Islam. Inshallah, we will make our way to the next section, and I will give you a small introduction with the light. Sit there, Paul. Do not fall a devout to Allah and His Messenger. So when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with Islam, when he, uh, when Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallam in Mount Hira and gave him uh, the news that he would be a prophet. Uh, when the Prophet began his message, began his call with Tawheed, calling to people to Allah, to worship Allah alone, who were the first to embrace Islam? Who were the first to accept the Prophet's call and help and aid the Prophet? So we have the first from the women, we have his beloved wife, Hadida radiallahu anha. She was the first from the men, uh, women, sorry. And the first from the men, we have Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anha. The first from the Shabab, the youth. We have Ali radiyallahu anhu and the first shuhada, the first part of Islam, we have the parents of Ammar, Yasir and Sumayya radiyallahu anhu. Inshallah that the video behind you is the story of Hadija radiyallahu anha, how she hated the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and some of her virtues. Inshallah have a watch and then after a few minutes we will uh, make our way to the next section inshallah. Avoid <laughs> being seen by the Mushrikeen, by the Quraysh. Uh, we had uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he chose Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu as his companion to accompany him, to come with him on the migration. And they left Ali radiyallahu anhu in the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because the mushrikeen, they were plotting to kill the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So as they left Ali in charge, they left for Medina during the late hours of the night. Uh, the daughter, the family of uh, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, Asma radiyallahu anhu, his daughter, she would prepare food for them on a regular basis and his son would inform them what is taking place within Mecca, what are, what are the Mushrikeen, the Quraysh, are uh, planning against the Muslims, okay? Behind you, we have Jabal al -Thaw. This is Cape Thaw. This is where the Prophet and Abu Bakr al Siddiq took refuge from the Mushrikeen, the Quraysh. As they left the Medina, the Mushrikeen realized that the Prophet had traders they took to get to Medina. The green line is the route the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiallahu Anhu they took to get to Medina. It was a slightly different and longer route. They took this route because they were being followed by the Mushrikeen, okay? If they had taken the red route, then they would have been easily seen or caught by the Mushrikeen. So they took a different route uh, to avoid being seen uh, and caught by the Mushrikeen. And eventually they arrived in Medina, okay? So inshallah we will go on to the next section, uh, which is called Milad al-Madina, the birth of Medina, and we will discuss uh, what took place when the Prophet entered Medina, inshallah. Medina, the birth of Medina, uh, what took place, we had the Prophet Sallam and Abu Bakr Siddiq before entering Medina, we had the Ansar waiting for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay, the, uh, the, the supporters, so we had the Muhajirun, they were those who migrated from Makkah to 
Medina and we had the Ansar, they were the supporters waiting in Medina for the Prophet Sallallahu The first thing the Prophet Sallallahu did or commanded with was the building of a masjid. So we have Masjid Quba, first masjid built, and we have uh, cementing the brotherly ties between the Muhajirun and the Ansar, okay? So the Prophet Sallallahu reminded that you are now brothers to one another in Islam, there are no tribalism uh, within Islam, okay? As you can see, this section wants to show you a feel of what Medina was like in the time of the Prophet okay? We had some of the houses, what they were like in the time of the Prophet made of clay, made of stone, made of mud, and Medina is known for its greenery, okay? Uh, we have the Prophet's message in the center here, as Quba, as I mentioned, Medina is surrounded by mountains, uh, we have the, uh, and we had some uh, Jewish tribes. Yahud living in Medina in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The reason was, uh, before the coming of the Prophet, the Jews, it mentioned this scripture in the books of the Jews, mentioned that a Prophet would come within these lands, okay? So the Jews, they were waiting for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Prophet to come. The Prophet came, some Jews accepted Islam, but many of the Jews, they rejected Islam on the basis that the Prophet was from their lineage. So the Prophet he came from the lineage of Ibrahim Ibrahim had two sons, Ishaq and Ismail okay? We had one, uh, a number of Prophets come from one lineage, and some Prophets come from a different lineage, okay? The Jews were expecting it to come from their lineage, okay? Uh, but because the Prophet came from the other lineage, he came from the Arab lineage, he rejected the Prophet upon this basis, upon tribalism, okay? Uh, and inshallah, just one final point. Uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, Jabal Uhud here, Mount Uhud. Uh, and inshallah, we'll go to the next section. Uh, we have a cinema with regards to the Battle of Uhud, the one took place between the Muslims uh, and the Mushriki, inshallah. So if we make our way, we uh, did that. Sahaba, who is from here, was Abu. 
Pakistan, the Greek version of Ayat al Fitr, the one who trained them from Shirk, and the Muslim mission had not been achieved. He was the Imam, he was the one who led the people in prayer. After his death, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he commanded that Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu alayhi wa lead the people in prayer. Okay? Uh, many of the scholars, the ulama, they mentioned that this was also an indication to say that Abu Bakr Siddiq likewise should lead the people, meaning lead the people, be the next leader for the Muslims. Okay? Uh, and after his death, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu alayhi he was chosen as the leader, the khalif for the Muslim. And he was the first of the Khulafa al um, Before the Prophet passed away, uh, he mentioned that his daughter Fatima radiallahu anha, she would be the first from his family to pass away after him. So this is a miracle in the of the Prophet because after the death of the Prophet maybe only a few months after, his daughter Fatima radiallahu anha, uh, she passed away also. He mentioned to her, he said, you will be the first of my family to follow me. And Fatima radiallahu anha, she began to cry, she began to weep. And then the Prophet mentioned to her, he said, would you like to be the chief of all the women in paradise? And Fatima radiallahu anha, she began to laugh. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, this is a miracle because she passed away shortly after the death of the Prophet. Uh, the